The next topic is on 3D visual reports. With the level of technical knowledge that you have, you may create wonderful complex designs. But how do you explain these designs to stakeholders who are not on the same page as you are? They may not have the software needed or the necessary technical expertise to see and understand the design itself. Data-driven annotations and the use of display rules are for times like these. They not only help you manage your data in a more efficient way, but also improve communication with stakeholders using visualizations and 3D reports. Let's take a look at what data-driven annotations are and their use in MicroStation through this example. Typically, when we create a drawing, we do need to add annotations to display some of the non-graphical properties, otherwise called business properties, that cannot be inferred from the geometry itself. Now, doing this manually can be a very tedious and time-consuming task. In addition, the more manual work we put in, the more we are prone to committing errors like spelling mistakes, mistakes in numbering, etc. Isn't it? So in order to avoid this manual labor and to increase efficiency, we have several options available within MicroStation. One of these features is called Favorite Texts, which are texts created with fixed label names and element properties like the fence note that you can see on the screen. As soon as you place this text on your drawing and select a fence element, all the properties will be updated with the values associated with the selected fence. Now, some of the properties can be based on geometry, like the length in this case, and some others can be based on business data, like the manufacturer name. Regardless, all values will be automatically updated. Notice how the drawing is visible in view one with the annotations placed and linked to the fence. And then the model is visible in view two. As the elements shown in the drawing are a reference from the model, any change in the model geometry will be dynamically reflected in the drawing. And the geometry based properties like the length are automatically updated. Now, if we undo what we just did, both the geometry and its value will be back to the previous state. The main goal here is to limit the amount of manual work that we need to put in every time there is a change in the design. I mean, who does not want to have all the annotations and reports automatically updated whenever there are changes in the design, right? Now, in order to identify certain elements and add annotations, we can take advantage of what we call the display rules. As an example, let's add a label to all the trees that must be removed. In the Project Explorer, available on the left pane, you can see that we have created a display rule to highlight all the elements, trees in this case, that follow a criteria status to be removed. Once we select the rule, we can find that there are four trees highlighted. Now we can select the tree remove label and attach this label to all the highlighted trees, which will show several of the tree's properties along with the to be removed red label. Once finished, we can switch off the display rules and go back to visualize the drawing as usual. Although the annotations in the drawing are linked to certain existing elements, notice how the properties are automatically updated to reflect the new properties as soon as we reassign the annotations to new elements. We used display rules in our previous example as a way to create a graphic filter and find some elements easily to add annotations. But the concept of display rules is much more than that. It is a powerful tool that can help us generate what we call visual reports. What we are going to see first is similar to what we saw in the previous example and is used to find all elements of the same type, all shrubs in this example. 
Using the override symbology option, shrub planting is visualized in red and the elements that are not shrub planting with a 90% transparency. You can also remove the override symbology and replace it with a request to directly hide element so that all the elements which are not shrub planting are hidden. The display rules are not only used to identify elements, but also to represent some of them in a different way so as to highlight them to reinforce the purpose for which they were designed, such as identifying all irrigation areas with a specific color and pattern. The process of creating display rules requires you to just assign a name to the rule, define a condition to filter elements, that is all the elements of the same type, or all the elements which are not of the same type. And finally, the action to be applied to these elements. If you select override symbology, you can assign a color of your choice to the element, to the fill area, line style, etc. If you select hide element, the elements will disappear from your screen as soon as the rule is applied. We see only trees now since that is what is selected but you can navigate through the various options in the render mode and find all the different elements with the symbology defined in the display rule. Once all rules are deactivated, your visualization will be restored to the model regular view. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.